Oh, what's up guys, Fun Jack and I here, and I got some capture flag and village, and this is the MK46 Red Dot Sight gameplay, and I think it might be a mob one, I can't remember, I did get a lot. I did get a fair few mobs on village using this gun, I do remember that, because it's such a good fucking that machine gun, but what I want to talk about today is Cooler Duty Black Ops 2. And I will be getting that, I will be getting the Care Package Edition. Where you get uh, the game in an exclusive limited edition steel book where you got a zombies I think yeah, a zombies back and a, a Black Ops 2. Not the standard game case, but you get like some special artwork on the front of it. Uh, you get a mul you get the Nuketown 2025 map. You get the um, get zombies Nuketown map. You get a bunch of, depending what console you pre-order on, you get, I think, here on, if you get on an Xbox, you get a bunch of, I think, is it Xbox avatar stuff. And if you get on PS3, you get a couple of themes for your PlayStation. But, yeah. I don't really bother about them, I'd just stick with the one I've got, my little troll face one. Not my troll face one, my little red comic one. But, the big stuff you get is when you get, well, we get this in the as well, so it's not exactly big stuff, but... We're stepping it up a bit now. We get these little two little challenge coin things. And your challenge coins are how we get all your DLC. I think you've got a challenge coin for your maps. And you've got the challenge coin for all your themes and avatar stuff. But now we're in the big stuff that you won't get any hard in the edition. Why it's called the Care Package Edition. You get a remote control RC quad rotor. Which flies. It does fly. I've seen it used. You see it in the when you think when you unbox it, you see I'm flying it as well. And you get yourself and what it all comes in instead of the Black Ops One uh, um, Prestige Edition, you get it in a care package which is modelled after the game and it comes with like like little you know like when you go and hold it in your case and you wrap it up with them little clip things, you get one of them. You get two of them around it as well. It's got Black Ops Two emblem on the front of it. And it's all orange and black, black ops two colours. Using some fucking Tom's in my way, Bell End. Oh, get the two guys there. They died as well. But um this is the reason why Tom is not in the clan, because he just does this all the time. It's not funny. It's exciting fucking about next to me, I died. But getting like a little care package of the black ops two colours. You also get only you only get this with a care package edition. You get an exclusive um, weapon cam camo. And what I've heard about the camo is it follows the Black Ops 2 colour scheme. So it's orange and black. You get you i presuming when they say it follows the colour scheme. You get your gun in like all black with like orange outlines and stuff on it. Well, if it's if it's how I imagine it to be it's gonna look fucking awesome. I don't want it to be like like how the AK-47 was. I'm trying to think of the game now. In Modern Warfare 2, is it where you got you put your fall camo on it? It was only the metal that was covered. I get all them free there. It's oblivious kids. I guess buddy. But I'm trying to think like you know when you get a gun. Gold guns really is what I'm thinking of. Is when when you get your gun gold, it's all gold in Black Ops. But when you got the G11, only like the iron sights and the uh, barrels gold, the rest of it was black. I'm kind of thinking something like that, but not to that extreme where, like, instead of the part of the gun being black, um, the majority of the gun is black, but it's got like orange lines on it, like round the outside, like round the, like round the magazine. It's orange lines. It's got orange lines around the barrel and the sight. have an orange outline on it. And stuff like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. But don't know yet. It's not out here. But I will be doing an unboxing video of that. And I'm actually getting quite a lot of limited editions in this quarter. I'm getting the Borderlands 2 limited edition. Not the Vault one. The other one. The uh, Vault. Is it Vault Hunter? I think it is. Just the Widow Bobblehead and that. I'm getting Assassin's Creed 3. Join or die and freedom edition. Get it. I might be upgrading my dishonored edition if a limited edition for that 
does come. So it depends what's in it, but I'm getting that. Um, I'm getting... What am I getting? I can't remember now. I think that must be it. I did get the, I did get the Sleeping Dogs Limited Edition as well, but you already got DLC with that. You get much. You got 30 quid as well, so can't really complain. Got it for 30 quid on Amazon, checked it a week later, and it was um, 45 again. So, saved about 15 quid. I know it's about 10 altogether with postage in, but. I can't complain. I forget it's Moab now, I've got to get it fast, but. Must not get a Moab. But anyway, this game is done, so thank you for watching. Peace, soup, and goodbye.